Good morning, everybody. My name is Andrew, and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So I just did a garden episode. However, things have changed dramatically in the last few days. I've got a few updates, and I'm going to do quite a bit of picking of different vegetables and peppers because it is put on that fast. So I thought I'd bring you all along. Check all this out. So my peppers have been putting on like crazy, and y'all should notice they look very dark and green compared to the last episode. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So these beautiful banana peppers are starting to put on, as well as everything else here. Let me show y'all. So bell peppers are putting on, getting large. A lot of these plants have two or three on them up in there banana peppers are just absolutely loading up i mean this one has a pile putting on here plus more up top I'm thinking i'm gonna try canning some of these this year or pickling i've yet to do that we like to eat them on salads and pizzas and everything else but i'm gonna try to put some up in jar some some little jalapenos they're loading up as well now my tomatoes they should look a whole lot better to y'all than they did the last episode i went out and bought some tomato fertilizer and put down and it's got bone meal and all kinds of stuff and they're almost just like worm casing fertilizer and i put a little bit of it around my peppers too they greened up within a couple of days tomato plants are nice and dark green now looks so much better now the bottoms of two of them still look a little browned up but i can tell these things are coming to life they are really liking the fertilizer so i've got tomatoes up in there tomatoes on this one tomatoes putting up top this one over here has got a couple big tomatoes on it actually three of them right there but uh i'm gonna keep keep at them i don't want to overload them with the fertilizer but i'm gonna keep at it but things are so much greener now and looking better see more tomatoes coming on too garden i had some concerns last time but huh not anymore look at that corn y'all my goodness i can't wait to show you all that Gotta do the slide lock for mail. Okra, man, there's so much to talk about. All right. So, <laughs> do things look a little different than the episode I just posted a few days ago? Yes, all the corn is starting to top out. It's done put on several more inches of growth, nice and green, and the awesome thing, I was concerned about lack of corn production I didn't actually see any ears man has it changed it's changed a lot so literally within just a few days corn started popping out it's already starting to tossle out and i'm noticing a lot of my stalks are putting on two ears now see how that one's got two everywhere you can see that all these are swollen that's ears of corn it is coming on like crazy now I see more corn in here i see one ear there Someone's just got one for now, but they're still loading up. I mean, yeah, we're getting there. We're absolutely getting there. I don't know if y'all can see that in the sun when I tap on this. Look at all the look at all the pollen coming off the tops. And I found out by Haas Tools last year that apparently the pollen comes off the top. I think that's the male part of a corn plant. This is the female end, and every piece of silk represents a kernel of corn. So the wind naturally pollinates from the top all the way down to the bottom and has to get that pollen on each piece of silk so you get a filled out piece of corn Go over in here more corn as well so everything's topping out looking beautiful corn is putting on everywhere stalks are loading up we had horrible and i mean horrible winds yesterday this corn didn't budge the cattle panels are working so so unbelievably well now why is everything looking good i went to the store and bought you see the fertilizer down there just cheap old triple 10 fertilizer if there's one thing i have found out in life triple 10 is the way to go if you don't know exactly what nutrients you're missing in the garden it's kind of a jack of all trades master of none fertilizer i put it out everything started looking great now the big success stories over here on the okra so i don't know if y'all remember last episode all my okra had these yellow spots everywhere on the leaves even lost a couple of them just looked really bad i threw some of that triple 10 fertilizer down apparently they were really needing some nitrogen that was my gut feeling anyways look at how green 
they have became in just the last few days me watering that fertilizer in that was absolutely what they needed was just a quick shot of fertilizer my compost doesn't have all the manure and everything in it this year that I had last year I need to get animals and I really need to hit my compost with some nitrogen content so I think they were just suffering really bad from that almost every single yellow spot is gone now just because of that quick shot of fertilizer Ammonium nitrate is probably what I should have hit everything with, but again, because I wasn't sure of the nutrient I was lacking, Triple 10 has saved me time and time again. Ever since I was a kid, I can remember we've always just kind of thrown that out and side dressed with it, and uh, it gives you what you need. So the okra is looking beautiful. So look at how lush and green it is now. Yes, I'll admit my okra is planted way too thick, but that's okay. We're experimenting this year. I want to see what I can get away with. If it keeps staying this healthy, it should grow and produce. And speaking of, as y'all can see right there, we're starting to get our first okra pods. I've got them everywhere in here, so okra is coming. That one's got on pretty much any plant this size. It's already got a small okra pod on it. So we're gonna wait for those to fill out. Now, one thing I have got to pick today, beans. They are putting on quicker than I had ever imagined. Absolutely loading up. So they're filling out nice and beautiful. Like I told you on the last episode, this is the first year we've ever grown blue lake bush beans. We typically do romas, but I couldn't find the seeds this year. These taste awesome. I do want to say I think I like the taste of the romas a little better, but these, without a doubt, will be my number two choice anytime I can't find roma seeds. And well, the beans are definitely producing. I just picked right at two gallons hitting the plants that are ready around the uh, the garden here. Now here's the cool thing, the majority of my plants still are not ready. They got small beans because the frost took a lot of them out and I had to replant. So two gallons come off of just a handful of plants that made it through the frost. So <laughs> I'm gonna be picking a lot of beans here before long. I don't have room in the bucket now for squash and zucchini. I'm gonna go bag this up, I'll be right back. Now on to the squash and zucchini. I don't expect many here because I picked quite a bit last night. Actually, I picked twice yesterday, yesterday morning and afternoon. But I think there may be just a few that are ready. As you can see, these have exploded in growth, nice and healthy. They're starting to put on quite well. I'm starting to get less and less of those long skinny squash and more filled out squash now. So zucchini is definitely starting to produce. Keep in mind, I only had three plants that made it through the frost. Everything else is still small and coming along. And my squash is starting to fill out to what I consider a normal size. So it's looking like it's time to transition from the two gallon bucket to the five gallon bucket, because I'll be picking that much every day. So one last quick look at all the squash and zucchini. Things looking relatively healthy. Bees everywhere doing the pollinating for me. Now if we move over to the potatoes, they are starting to show signs everywhere that we will be picking here before long. The plants are finally starting to die that back. The uh, leaves are browning up and really getting yellow. So actually I could uh, I could start digging some right now. Hey, actually look right there, look at that big old potato peeking out of the ground. How about that, let me get that covered back up. I'm glad I put the extra soil in here if I'm already seeing exposed potatoes. So there must be a ton of them down in there. At least I certainly hope so. Oh yeah, I'm touching them. Look right here. Ooh, look at there. There's one. There's another one. Beautiful red new potatoes. Cover those up. So we're gonna start digging those up here before long. I like to let these die back a little more. But we may go ahead and dig some for an upcoming meal. So if you come over here and look at the uh, cucumbers, whoo, they have exploded. They're climbing, but they're wanting to run out more than climb. I've been coming out here and feeding some of the vines through, trying to entice them to get up this trellis. <laughs> it pretty much just swamped my cantaloupe over here. Probably going to sun it out and kill it. But these other two cantaloupes are doing really well. Some random bean plants there. I haven't checked on my cucumbers in a couple of days. Let's see, I had some growing on the back side that was easy to show off. Look at there. Look right there. 
got a few in there about that size so cucumbers are coming maybe in a few days i'll be picking my first ones of those over here this corn is doing awesome i mean look everything is just tossing out looking good silk showing everywhere big ears of corn popping out some of these stalks have three ears of corn on them all right look down here one two three and the one right beside it is the same exact way so corn is coming along great i just picked a handful of beans out of here you got a lot of them that are still growing since the frost you know the replant cantaloupes over here i've yet to see my first cantaloupe but they're looking happy vining and they're about to start falling outside of the bed which is okay we've got all the grass and weeds taken care of so they can fall on the ground and stay there for the rest of the summer no cantaloupes yet but i have a feeling it will not be long blueberries are still putting on grapes just still absolutely loading up so everything is looking happy and good now, especially since I gave it a quick little shot of fertilizer. I still can't get over this corn. <laughs> this is just insane. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed this quick little episode. I just want to give y'all a garden update for the simple fact of there's a lot going on out here. Things are looking healthier, happier. Production is definitely up. Um, we're starting to pick beans pretty much just about daily. Squash and zucchini, absolutely daily potatoes are pretty much ready we're gonna let them die off a little more but we can start eating those anytime we want the corn is loading up i'm starting to see little corn cobs popping up everywhere so i feel so much better about that but the garden's doing extremely well and we're loaded down with peppers and quite a few tomatoes coming along too i guess y'all could say hello to my little friend here <laughs> so everything is alive in the garden here we'll catch y'all in the next video thanks for watching